If you want to increase your range to be able to shoot from deep, I got you. First tip is just getting stronger overall, upper body, core, and lower body as well. It's not rocket science. The stronger you are, the farther you'll be able to shoot it. But now let's get into the basketball detail. We're emphasizing power on the shot, so you want to shoot on the way up instead of getting to your highest point. There's an example right there. You also want to lower your release point. Stiffen them, get the ball to around their eyebrows or forehead, and then they start going forward in their release. For mid-range pull-ups, you'll have a high release point. For deeper threes, you'll have a lower release point. Now, the next thing that I want to get into is the dip. You see Curry's dip right here, and it's just using more legs to get into your shot. You want to dip your ball and the body at the same time. So if you're a leg shooter, you'll focus more on your dip, and notice how Dane jumps forward on that shot. The last technique I'll talk about is body rotation. So look where I start, look how my body was positioned, and look how it's positioned when I end. And I'll show you another example right here. I use a lot of body rotation to generate power. It's a technique that a lot of shooters do. You can see Steph's right here, that rotation. Aligning that shoulder and follow through with the rim. And you can see the rotation in Dame shot and in De'Aaron Fox example right here. So those are just some of the techniques that you can use to generate more power into your jump shot. Whenever you're working on your game, it's your job to experiment with those techniques to feel what's most comfortable for you.